Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone but we knew someone who did. The start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. 
Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this were going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. Then he'd bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I hope you can. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Should be strong enough to hold him. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Got any water? Drink. A good man or squirt? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. She'll be back 
Trust me. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give him up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Tell me where Lily went, yeah. now! <coughs> oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? I hope so. And I hope he suffers every moment till he does. <laughs> You're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> my... My whole life... Everything I ever got... I got with my own two hands... And my will... For my body... To dirt on me... To take control... I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. I'm begging you. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. I need assurances. That's as good as you're gonna get. Hurry up, Abel. You don't have much time. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't let me become one of those things. Try me.
<laughs> what if they... What if they could feel it when they turn? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Maybe you just end up trapped along for the ride. There are people trapped inside walkers? Yeah, yeah. That's why you put a bullet in them, if they're gonna turn. Or maybe that's why you let them. Okay. Okay. <coughs> In my boot, you'll find a paper with everything you need to know. AJ, check his boot. We have a boat. <laughs> that paper shows the miles to the nearest stops. Those words, their city names, we use them like a call and response. Make sure we don't go shooting our own. Only one we use these days is Rockingham. I can't believe you actually got me to give that up. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please! I don't want it to hurt! Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. 
Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because Say he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. See Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. No good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Are those torches? I think so. Could be easy fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station.
sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! the people you steal. I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. The boiler deck. Second deck. They're all there. Clementine, wait. That... That's Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. Yeah, I'm in charge. And what a freaking fantastic job you've done. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away! 
Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are wrong. Glenn protected us. Yeah. And how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you're Nerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Bully said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Maybe they'll get smarter too, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. 
troubled youth. Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. Oh, <laughs> yeah.